Look here, I'ma be real with y'all. I still sleep with my makeup on sometimes. I'm not gonna lie. You my right hand, you my teddy boo. Today I attempted to take care of my skin and I thought I'd record it. I could have the most wild night. The one thing that I will make sure I do is take my contacts out. I wear contacts, I'm as blind as a bat. I can have my shoes on. I can wake up with the same outfit on. I could wake up with a face full of makeup. But one thing that I made sure I got done was take my contacts out. Now that same energy, that same determination that I have to get my contacts out of my eyes after a wild night is the same type of dedication and commitment I want to a skincare routine. Yeah, so if you want to see me attempt a skincare routine, um, please keep watching. I'm the girl who watches these beautiful YouTubers do their skincare routines and I watch them in awe. I'm like, wow. Hard eyes, and I just always wanted to be her. So today I stumbled across this video, Killa Chris. I'm gonna link the video down below. She did this video, this at home spa kind of style skincare routine. She used some products you can find here at home. She also used a couple of store bought products. I was moved by how beautiful her skin looked, uh, how simple the process looked. I mean, I just was like, I'm gonna do that. So here we are. I'm going to literally copy her routine. Her skin just, I was drooling over her skin and the way it radiated through the screen. You've inspired me to start caring about my skin. But first, I just got off of a Zoom call conference meeting. So I have a little bit of makeup on. I'm gonna start with just washing her face, starting with a clear makeupless face. So my eyebrows will disappear in three two the dark circles have come back to play step one steam our face so i don't have a face steamer we're gonna steam our face using a pot of boiling water like she did in the video and when i saw her do that i was like wait hold up you don't need to buy some expensive face steamer use your kitchen let's go <laughs> just kidding make sure the fire is turned off before you stick your head over the pot i must admit this felt amazing it was so relaxing okay we just steamed our face we're gonna do the fun part extraction i get blackheads um all around my jawline and all around my lip line i don't know why and then i just get bumps all over my forehead again I'm not really big on skincare, so I can't give you the correct terminology for it all, but I just know that my skin is in desperate need for some extracting, so. We about to get real up close and personal. Zoom in effects, I mean. I do have a lot of freckles as well, all around my lips. I have a mustache at this point, at this stage in quarantine. I dare you to judge me. Yeah. <laughs> wow, I feel so close to you right now. You just saw all up in my- So let's get into it, honey. Uh, Q-tips was an interesting tool for extraction, I kind of had a hard time, but I feel like in general, I have a really hard time with extractions anyway. So I moved over to my tweezer man tool and that seemed to help out a little bit. If this stuff grosses you out, sorry, <laughs> but I thoroughly enjoy it. And I thought this was a blackhead, but it was a freckle. I did my best with the extractions. I found my, what the hell is this called? Tweezer man? I don't know. I'm a huge fan of Dr. Pimple Popper. Comment down below if you watch her. I salivate at her videos, at pus coming out of, that's disgusting. Love watching 
extractions, especially like cysts being popped, huge, huge blackheads being popped, and the ones that are really hard and then they end up oozing out. It's disgusting, I know, but I love it. I just wish it was a bit easier to do on myself. Uh, my brother would get ingrown hairs and he would always come over and ask me to get it, pop it, and those are just so fun. My face is red and raw, and the next step is exfoliation. And we're gonna whip up an at-home exfoliator. Is that a word? Exfoliant? Exfoliator? Product? What? We're gonna whip up something at home to help exfoliate our skin. I'll meet you guys in the bathroom. What's it? I know you're probably... So we have our brown sugar and olive oil and we're gonna exfoliate. Scrub a dub dub. I was really impressed by how simple it was to make your own exfoliator at home. Just to know the ingredients are clean, they're simple, and available in your kitchen. Whoa! I'm actually, my brother's at the door saying hello. I'm actually shook. Oh my god, she's a queen. I then pat dried my face with a cold towel. It clearly felt really good. <laughs> I've heard that you can't close or open your pores and that the cold water doesn't really have an effect on, on anything when it comes to your pores. I do know that it felt good, so we did it. And moving on to a lip scrub, I made this also in my kitchen. Salt, honey, and lemon. My lips felt so soft after. Everything just feels as soft as a baby's butt. Next is toner. So I use the good old witch hazel rose petal. So next we're using moisturizer. I am new to this, but this is what we'll be using today. This is Gel Moisturizer, Hydro Boost Gel Cream for Extra Dry Skin. And at last is our some vitamin E oil. I'm not particular about the brand. I don't know if I'm crazy about this one. It's almost done. so much for joining me as I try to better my life, starting with my skin. There you have it. There is my failed attempt at skincare. I have hope. I think I'm going to get better with time. I think I'm going to get clear skin with time. I think that I'm going to keep this up and I'm going to be back with an updated skincare routine when my skin is thriving. I don't know how credible I am with this damn visitor on my forehead. Shout out to you, Killer Chris, for inspiring me, for lighting a fire under my booty to get my skincare routine down. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I love you, babes. Be good to each other, be kind, and I'll see you next time. What are you doing? Say hi. You're <laughs> vlogging yourself eating watermelon. I just filmed the video. It was hard. Those Hill Kids, subscribe to their channel. You're not even a researcher. <laughs>